Well, my friends, we made it. We made it on the water in Seattle, Seattle Boat Show, Targa 37. Guys, we're gonna walk to 44, but, but just to give you a quick teaser of the 37, here is the 37. Cause I know it's, I know some of you are gonna say, well, just walk guys. I'm literally stopping the show. I had to wait here for a minute because Ryan has been super busy. Wait for it guys, the Targa 44. We have not filmed this particular boat, so we're gonna film it now. And uh, I don't know, wait for it. Look at this guys. All right, so let's jump on board. We got Brian inside the Targa in Seattle. Let's jump on. <clears throat> Welcome aboard. Burn wind hits you guys. Look at this. The first thing that hits you right when you get on Pacific Northwest. The 44. Hey, Alfred. How are you? The man, the myth, the whiskey. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> this is this is what I talked to Matt over there at the other side of the show. I was like, you remember that moment that we were freezing? And I was like, yeah, I had to give you some whiskey so you could warm up. <laughs> You're so not used to the Seattle weather. I am not, but you know what? I'm enjoying the show. And I don't think Brian, first of all, Brian, introduce yourself to and, it. Uh, Brian Anderson with Cardinal Yacht Sales. So I was over there at the show, show's busy. Matt's got the 27.2, which we showed that one. I'll put a link to that video if they want to see that. But this is a big boy. We're talking about a big boat here. Yeah, this is the Target 44. Okay, so let's walk this boat, Brian, and tell me what what uh, what we got going. I got some of my stuff here, guys. Sorry, but I mean, <laughs> but okay, so 44. We have the 46. Yep, 44 is just slightly smaller. Same hull. Same hull. Yep. Slight, and then I just I just kind of teased them with the 37. Oh yes. So let's let's walk this. Uh, um, and tell me a little bit about this particular boat. All right, so the 44, you have two separate cabins in this boat, private cabins. Okay. Forward, you have the island bed and the second head. Okay. Down below you, there is a, another bunk that's accessed from the second head. Most people turn that into a storage area. Okay. Got the great helm station here, dual Garmin displays. Helm is completely adjustable, so you can set this up for however you want to be, whether you're standing or sitting in the suspension chair. Volvo Penta controls, joystick steering. Now this would be considered a nice day. Well, we got low 40s over here or high 40s? Yeah, or? earlier it might have been 50, but it's cooling down quick. Sun's going down. Okay, but I brought the sun. Well, the sun wasn't here for a couple of days. <laughs> it's been nice the last few days. Yes. Thank you for bringing that with Yes, you. I brought that Florida weather over here. So, so this is a lot of space on this particular yeah. 46. You've got a great, great dinette. This does convert to another bed. Got the all important uh, liquor storage in there. We got to find out where Matt left the whiskey. Got the pop up TV. Just make it come out nice. Touch of a button. Yep. That is great. So I, I'm assuming because of the whole pandemic, you guys have been super busy selling boats and everybody wanted to get on a boat and go outside. It's, oh, absolutely. It took a pandemic to realize <laughs> that you like boats, guys. It's amazing. There's so many boats out on the water now, but yeah, it is absolutely true. Aren't we waiting for the next pandemic so, so we can just sell more boats? <laughs> I don't know if I want another one of those. <laughs> All uh, right. So here you got your Corian counters. Induction cooktop stove, microwave, and of course the Targas are all semi-custom, so you can really set these up with the equipment that you want. So I remember we have we have some some berth, right? So we have a lower berth over there in the in the rear. Yep. So a second cabin back here. This particular boat we did two single bunks. Oh, this even got its own head. What? Yeah, head with a stall shower. Oh man, hold on a second, guys. Look at this. So you got, you got a lot of space in here. Oh, 
Nice. Okay, so. Yeah, and another single bed here to the starboard side. Which right now you guys are using it for storage and yep. stuff. Wow, so there's a lot of space here and it has its own head here. Would, would the one, would the other um, room be bigger than this one here? Uh, this is the, this is considered the master head. Oh, okay, I was going to say, because, wow, this is, for a 46 foot boat, this is a lot of real estate. Yeah. You have a whole shower, separate shower and everything. Let me get in here. Look at that, guys. Wow. Very, very nice. Okay, so what's how how many knots or how fast does this thing cruise? This with the twin 440 Volvo Pentas, you're about a 29 knot cruise, mm -hmm. uh, one nautical mile a gallon. We can typically do about 525 gallons of fuel, so you have a nice, you know, close to 500 mile range conservatively. Wow, this is good. Let's let's go ahead and just check out that other state one up, up front. What do we got going on here? So yeah, here you've got an island bed, second head. And down underneath Albert is the, uh, well, <laughs> it's the dog bed. All right, hold on a second. Let's see. The dog bed. I, I'll put uh, my kids in here. Yeah, you can put the kids yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We've got owners that let their dogs sleep down there. <laughs> well, listen, um, I'm not going to let them uh, sleep in my room, but if I, if I had to, <laughs> and uh, obviously, we can walk around the whole boat, right? Yeah, let's go outside. Let's go see what's going on over here, guys. Yeah, one of the great things about the Targa is its full walk around. Yeah. Which is super safe, easy for docking, anchoring, rafting up to your friends. Uh, we do full cushions up here so you have a nice lounging area. And this is what I love about the Targas. They just look beautiful, like such a such a good looking mine. Where are they making these? In Finland. Finnish, right? Finland yep. boat. Notice no anchor. This guy had a really limited space in his uh, boathouse. Okay. So we did a recessed anchor down in the bow to okay. keep that anchor and roller from sticking out too far. So we kept his uh, length overall under what he needed. Nice thing. You got, a, you got a station up there that you can drive as well? Yep. Flybridge up top. Let's go see the uh, flybridge. All right. Let's go, guys. Look, look at the 37, how beautiful she looks here, guys. And, and the same profiles, but bigger, right? Hey. They're going to start the boat. The kids are going to start the boat. Oh, yeah. Probably <laughs> trying to drive us away. Wait, wait for it. All right, guys. Let's get in here. We're on the fly bridge. Now we are talking. Woo! Oh, look, 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 look. These guys are leaving the show already. The Aspen is gone. Are they going to be able to get out of here? Wow. So you guys are about so, to leave too, right? Well, we're leaving in the morning. You guys heading, are leaving in the morning? Heading back to Bellingham. You know, I, I filmed a, a huge series in Miami called The Chit Show. Do you know that? No. Oh, The Chit Show is hilarious. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, you got to see that one. It's a good one. I'm, I, I'm not going to get the people on the Aspen doing it, but you know, I always try, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So, okay, so, so tell me a lot about this flybridge. And so we have a whole second uh, steering station up here, complete with the joystick and your Garmin instrumentation. Super comfortable chairs. Uh, navigator swivels around so you can sit two people there, plus you nice. have your L sofa. So you have, I mean, I would, I would assume a lot of cool conversations happen while you were just cruising along on this boat. Oh, absolutely. Look this, at this. this is a head turner. This look, boat, you pull into this. a dock, everybody comes by to talk about it. Oh, okay, so I know when we talked, uh, when I was talking to Matt, we had fuel 
this has dual Volvos or what is dual this? Dual Volvo Penta 440s. Okay, and on the way yeah. out, we'll open that. Can you open that yeah, hatch? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. And, and those dual, what are they, what, what's the fuel capacity and, and range on something like this, uh, on about this size? We're roughly, we can do 525 gallons of fuel is the max. Okay. Um, the standard fuel tanks are about 400, and you're a 29 knot cruise at about a nautical mile per gallon. I am loving this view here. I can see someone just, and the visibility is perfect. Oh yeah. Like you have full visibility. There's like, if you crash or hit a dock, it's your fault. Yeah, exactly. It's not, <laughs> and that's kind of like what the chit is about. So let's go check out that engine compartment real quick. Right. And, um, and then we can talk about, you know, how much dinero we're talking about for something like this, because you know, this is this is what's going to get us to where we want to go right yeah. here, right? So, so here we have the nice spacious cockpit, great for fishing or lounging. Um, yeah. We even have optional L seating you can do back here. Okay. So you can seat maybe eight people back here. Um, Wait we'll for open it. Up the engine room here for you. Where the wow, that is a big engine room. Damn. That is huge. So, all right, let, let me jump over here real quick. Yeah. Let me get on this side. All right, guys, I want to show you guys all of this because, okay, so so you have, uh, you guys have everything here. Do you, I see a generator. You, you, do you have a sea keeper on something like this? Uh, we can do sea keepers. Um, we also do a lot of boats with lithium ion batteries, so okay. you don't need the generator. Okay. Uh, we've put a water maker. I see that, man. This is, and there's plenty of space in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of space to, you know, strap down containers with all your tools and spares. And these, and with these Volvos, they got the joystick nowadays. I mean, it's you, so a four-year-old could dock it, right? Right. You guys are killing my business, man. It's like, it's <laughs> the chit show. I'm going to have to lose. I'm not going to be able to do anything anymore. Uh, so, all right, we can close it up. What do we got okay. in here? Like, we got our folding chairs in here and the cockpit table stored under the other hatch. Uh, under there. So you just have it there. It's not even in the way. Right. Store it, get access to it, and then use it. Yep. Easy. Yeah. I'm loving this. You got a Garmin in the back, so you can go ahead and see what's going on. Yep. O owner of this boat's going to do a little bit of fishing. Um, mm -hmm. We can do aft steering stations here. All right, what are we talking about price points for something like this? You're, you're uh, typically about a million three for a pretty loaded Pacific Northwest boat. Uh, that's electronics, cabin heat lithium batteries and yeah really just set up as a turnkey boat and say somebody is is comparing the 44 and the 46 yep other than size what are they going to see differences wise uh, so the 46 one of the reasons it feels like a larger boat is that they actually have a spacer okay. between the hull and deck joint okay and it raises the pilot house about five inches so you have more headroom in that boat so that'll so, be the biggest feel difference. Yeah, yeah. But aside okay. from that, you get about a foot extra space in the cockpit and about a foot and a half in the salon area. All right. All right, so where can they go online? If they wanted to get a little bit more info, not where the whiskey is, Brian. <laughs> I'm coming inside because it, it, it's dropping. It, it is cold. It's that's, dropping. That's why I got my beanie on. Oh, oh okay. My Bernouin beanie. Bernouin. I love Bernouin. <laughs> Tom over there at Bernouin. Yeah. Okay, so where can they go online if they wanted to reach out to you? Uh, go to cardinalyachtsales.com. Cardinalyachtsales.com? Uh, yep. Ask for yourself. So uh, cardinalyachtsales.com, and you'll have links there to contact all of us. Call, awesome. Um, yeah. And... Um, and then Matt's going to be like, wait, where's the whiskey, dude? <laughs> Some dude That's went right. to Miami. I, I think we drank all the whiskey on this boat, but we do have vodka. <laughs> I don't do vodka. Let me tell you a story about what happened to me in Spain. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was 18 in Spain. No, we're going to we're gonna have to reenact that one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I would never. Listen, since I was 18, that happened. 
with vodka. You haven't. I can't bring down vodka in my body oh, after that day. That's like me with Southern Comfort. Never again. <laughs> <I touch that. laughs> Too many stories, guys. Off from other magazine. Brian, Seattle, Cardinal Yacht Sales. We're out of here, guys. Hey, thanks, Seattle Alfred. 2023. Boom.